they've got changes all over the place. We are showing the category for every question. We have two new lifelines, and we have put a clock on the game. But none of that intimidates returning contestant Eric Cunningham. Welcome back, Eric. Thank you. Now, Thank you. Why not? Why are you so fearless? Uh, well, actually, today, I mean, I, I don't think I could have gotten through yesterday or today uh, without my grandfather's watch. Uh, he had it for 40 years, uh, and last year uh, he gave it to me shortly before he died. And since then, basically, I, I have to wear it every single day, or the whole day comes to a, to a crumble. I, I, this is kind of, this keeps me stable. Oh, that is so lovely, Eric. <laughs> you your grandfather here with you in spirit, for sure. And I know you moved here from Virginia to work yes. with the H1, right? Yes. What show are you on there? Uh, I'm on Best Week Ever. Which is a big hit. Good for you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But your mom came up from Virginia Door. She's in our audience to support you today. Yeah. Thank you, Dora. Nice to see you. Special lady in your life. <laughs> yeah, she, um, she has a nickname for me. It's uh, Ormiguita. Ormiguita? What does that mean? Yeah, well, she, uh, my, she's from Mexico, and it means uh, little ant in Spanish. And that basically came about. Little uh, ant. That's sweet. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, uh, it basically came about from the fact that whenever I would come home from college or... or or whatnot, I would I would snag maybe a blender or a few bed sheets. Oh. They, would, they would tend to make their way to my anthill, uh, wherever it was that I was. Oh, I see. So maybe you can, with the money, repay. You know, repay exactly. <laughs> well, Eric, you're doing a bang up job here. You've already answered seven questions, earning you four thousand dollars. Eight questions away from one million dollars. Here's a reminder of what those remaining questions are all about. Okay, you still have three lifelines to help you. Phone a friend, double dip, and ask the expert. And today's expert is the host of Stuff Happens on Discovery's Planet Green. It's Bill Nye, the science guy, who will be here to help you out in a minute you need And you remember that you can walk away at any time, but if you don't beat the clock and say final answer, you will be forced to walk away. Hopefully, you'll be leaving here with one of these Capital One checks with your name on it. Hopefully, the one that says a million dollars. That's what that. I want. Yeah. <laughs> so, are you ready? All uh, right, let's get this started. Okay, audience, are you ready? Yeah. All right, Eric, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Category famous quotes for $8,000. Dan Rather once famously defined an intellectual as someone who can listen to the William Tell Overture and not think of whom? Superman, the Lone Ranger, Captain Kirk, Harry Mason. I'm going to say B, the Lone Ranger, final answer. You smiled as I read that question. You knew it, you have it right. <laughs> Seven away from a million dollars. Category, anniversaries, $16,000. In what year did America celebrate the sesquicentennial anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence? 1826, 1851, 1926, 1951. I'm going to phone a friend. And we're going to freeze that clock at 17 seconds. Take a look at who you have standing by for you. Here they are. Andrew, your brother, who works as a Peace Corps volunteer. Your roommate, Jared, he is a creative manager. And Norman, a talent producer who works with you at VH1. Who um, is it going to be? I'm going to call my brother, Andrew. Your brother, Andrew. All right, let's get Andrew on the line. Hello? Andrew. Hi. Hey, it's Meredith Vieira from Millionaire. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Uh, good. I'm looking at the picture that you sent of you. It's very interesting. <laughs> Do you, can you tell me about it? I, you're, I'm not quite sure what you're doing. I think you have a fake mustache there? Um, no, I'm, I think I'm holding a knife in my, in my mouth. Um, we were dressed up at school um, to play this game, and I dressed up as Joe from Arrested Development. He was a magician that had used knives in his act. <laughs> oh, okay. 
And and Eric, this is who you picked. This is yeah. Okay. Yep. Right. I, I locked in. All right, Andrew, you crazy devil, you. Your brother Eric is going for sixteen thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah. He needs your help. Okay. Okay. Eric, you have thirty seconds. Your time starts now. When was the sesquicentennial anniversary of the Declaration of Independence? Sesquicentennial. Um, pretty sure sesquicentennial is 150. Okay, so what is that? Let's do a math real quick, just answer. to double check it. Do the math. Read the answer. Uh, is it 1826, 1926, 1851, or 1951? You said 150, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. Oh, yeah. oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Your brother said he's pretty sure that means 150, all right? Yeah. You have 17 seconds to give us an answer, and your time starts back up now. Uh, I'm going to say C, 1926, final answer. Your brother may look a little weird, but he's a smart <laughs> guy. You got it right. <laughs> Good job, Eric, going for $25,000, six away from a million dollars.